guys welcome back i decided to do a voiceover instead of just being mute the whole time and we're gonna go ahead and start off with the tatcha silk canvas primer that i just put on my face i sped this video up because i am doing my makeup and also my hair just taking it down so i am doing my eyebrows with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in ebony then i went in with the la girl pro concealer in the shade fawn and you're gonna see me go ahead and shape my or carve out my eyebrows using a morphe brush and let me see which one it is um I'll, oh it's the morphe m224 brush so i'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my brows as you see that's what i'm doing now i love this brush for this specific reason it's super like firm so you get a very consistent line when you carve out your brows and then I'm going to go use and I'm using another Morphe brush to blend that concealer out blend it out ladies you can't be walking around with unblended concealer I'm then going in with my Juvia's Place Velvety Matte Foundation in Malawi 230 and I'm going to go ahead and use my clean black beauty blender to blend it out this is my favorite beauty blender I've never used a different one sometimes I do but this is always my go-to and just make sure you get around those edges of your eyebrows so you don't have that highlighted effect if you do like it though to each its own I like mine's blended in all together then I'm going in with my born this way concealer in butterscotch y'all this concealer is it I barely ever use a different one it's just bomb like look how it blends out it blends like butter it's beautiful like it's so nice but I kind of want to get um, a darker shade if you know just for those you know everyday foundation look days where it doesn't look too highlighted but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer make sure it's blended all the way because you can't be looking crazy and then after that I'm gonna go in with my ABH foundation stick I use this to contour in the shade ebony and I'm blending that out with another Morphe brush just around my forehead and my um, cheekbones. I don't really do my nose or anything anymore. And then you'll see after that, I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I love this powder, y'all. Every time I use a different one, it just don't work out. <laughs> so I have to stick with what I know. It may get a little boring sometimes. I'll try to venture out. I have a whole bunch of powders, but I literally never use them. And maybe I should, so it won't be like money wasted. Um, I'm not doing an eye lift. It's like an everyday little look for me. So I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium to dark. I'm taking that darker shade. Sorry if you can't see what products I'm using. I was filming an Instagram video too. So I was like, you know, all over the place. Um, now I'm just taking that same powder and setting the rest of my face. Then I'm going in with my NYX, hold on, let me find it. <laughs> I'm going in with my NYX Cheek Contour Duo Palette in Wine and Dine, and I'm using that pretty blush. And then I use that NYX, I use the Vinyl Liner, um, but before that I did one with my Morphe Setting Mist, which I absolutely love as well. And now you see me doing my liner, y'all. Liner is not hard. You got to practice. And you also have to figure out what works for your eye shape. I figured out for my eye shape, I have to go upward with my liner. Um, or else it just makes my eyes look lazy and weird. So I have to go upward with mine because that's how, you know, to get it super sharp looking and super cute. And now I'm just taking my um, Maybelline big shot mascara and i'm applying these lashes i got from aliexpress i love these lashes they're super cute and dramatic kind of but you know i love them then i'm taking my inglot black liner just to line my waterline i find this way better than using uh, a pencil and then i'm lining my lips with the nyx espresso lip pencil and you didn't see this part but i used the matte velvet teddy lipstick now on to the hair 
I am taking my moonlight bath treats. They have an Instagram. I'll link you below. Organic hair oil. I just put ugh. <laughs> I just put that all over my hair, and now I am taking my braids out. Mind you guys, this braid out, I've had my braids in for a good week, <laughs> and because I just walk around like that, I don't really care. Like it's my natural hair, so I'm gonna walk around how I want in it. But I'm taking it out, so. And I've been wanting volume in my hair, so I did go on Instagram and ask everybody, oh, how can I get volume? And they're like, oh, you have to pick your hair out more. So I decided to try it, and I'm in love with my hair. Like, I'm never going back. This is my go-to. Like, <laughs> this is it. I'm picking my hair out like this every single time. I don't care if it doesn't last long. I like the volume more than anything. I want big hair. It's super, super cute and eccentric looking, so that's the plan from this point forward so you'll just see me i'm using my little afro pick to pick through my hair this is the first time i ever like picked through it so much and then i decided i did not want a part i'm tired of parts i want like the cute little bang look that you see everybody on instagram have i want that and then i just use this one bobby pin that i have <laughs> i need to buy more and i didn't have more so i had to use like the little metal clip but you couldn't see it um after i used it or whatever but there it is feeling myself <laughs> and that's the final look go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to check out the rest of my videos bye y'all